Hello friends and welcome to my OneNote 2016 tutorial. I aim to get you up and running with all the key functionality as quickly as possible. So let's get into this. So if you click on search, I'm on Windows 10. Um, I'm looking for OneNote 2016. Um, you'll see OneNote, but we want 2016, which is the latest. This fires up and you will see, um, your page may look a little bit different from mine, but what we want to do is create a notebook. Now you can create a notebook locally on the computer so you can access the data on this computer or you can create it on your OneDrive and that will be accessible from other computers providing you put your credentials in. It also includes tablets, iPhones, Samsungs, etc. So you can access that data any way you like. So let's create a notebook. Uh, click notebook and add notebook. Here we go. Now I'm going to actually create mine locally. I'm going to call it shopping and I'll click create. Okay, so I have my notebook called shopping. Now if I drop down, you can see that's my notebook and I can create another notebook if I like, call it whatever I want. You also have quick notes if you want to just take some quick notes. Right, so we are now within the notebook. Now this is a section, it's almost like a chapter. So let's right click that and rename it to give it, uh, so it makes a bit of sense. So let's say food. And if I want to add another section, you just click the plus and we'll call this drink, like so. Now within each chapter, each section, you have pages and the pages are here. This is actually the, the first page when you open up a, a new tab, uh, a new section. So we'll call this one uh, food shopping. And you'll notice it gives it the name on the right hand side. The page is called food shopping. If you add another page, you can call this one food eating, whatever you want to call it, etc. And you can add more and more pages as you can see. Right, so that's the essentials. Now you can change the color of these if you like. Ooh, go to section color and change the color and you can do so for, for any one you wish. Um, you can give the page a title. Um, what have we got here? This is a new page. We've got food shopping, so this already has a title. Right, so if you just want to get straight into it, write some text, write some notes, just pop your cursor anywhere you like and just start typing. Hello. Hi. Like so. You can drag this window anywhere you like. Just grab the top of it and pull it. If you want to make the window longer, stretch it like so. If you want to move a particular item uh, higher up the list or lower, you can see the little arrow just to the to the left here. Just drag that up and it will drag that word up and down. Okay, so that's a little tip there. Now, let's get into some of these options. This is the ribbon. You may be familiar with it. It's in most uh, Microsoft products now. If it's closed up, what you can do is just click on any of these menus here come across and press the pin button that holds it in place so we have paste we have format we have cut copy these are pretty basic things we bold italic underline um, you've probably seen these in in things like word and uh, excel and so on italic uh, i won't go through all of them they're pretty standard um, when we come across to here we have a to-do list we can create a to-do list so you just press that button once and we can create a list so we can say uh, chocolate milk Twix very healthy diet you can tell right so yeah with this to-do list you can place a tick and say yep done yep eaten yep collected Wh whatever you're going to do and again you can move this around um, we have another type of list where you could say mm, let's make this one important you can make all of those items important or you can just make an important list like so and uh, place another star in there and say that's important if you use this drop down um, you can select many different types let's just say music for example um, and then you can say oh got to listen to the latest so that's another way you can create a list uh, if you want to search for your tags you may have lots uh, you just press find and it will locate them within all of your notebooks or just within this page. You can play around with those settings. Outlook tasks, this is if you use Outlook as your email client. You can, uh, within the tasks section of Outlook, if you pop, if you click this button next to an item, it will create a task in Outlook 
and within that task in Outlook, you click the link and it will bring you back to the task here. You can also email the page, so all the contents of the page will uh, land within an email ready to be sent via Outlook. And meeting details, if you want to add meeting details from an Outlook calendar, you just use this button and it will pull the info in. So moving along, insert. We have insert space, first button. If your page is starting to look a little bit crowded, click that, you get the horizontal line, press and hold and drag down, create some space. If you want to close things up, just do the reverse, Get the uh, press the button again, press at the bottom and pull up and it closes the space up. If you want to create a table, very easy, just select the table size and voila. Another way to do it is if you just type a letter or a word and then just tab, enter and just tab along, it will create a table for you. So moving to file printout, let's go to another page. File printout, uh, this will take the contents of a document and paste them into OneNote, into a page on OneNote. So let's take this for example, some PDF sample text, selects it and pastes it into the uh, note. So that's there and you can resize it and uh, yeah, do different things as you so wish. You can attach a file. Um, it's just as easy to drag and drop when it comes to file attachment, to be honest. Let's just select that file, attach file. There you have the file, so you can open that whenever you like. Um, a good thing to try, if uh, it's useful to you, is if you click on spreadsheet and you can use an existing Excel spreadsheet, uh, let's say films again, and this allows you to insert the spreadsheet. So this is um, not insert it as an attachment, but actually insert the contents. And um, after just a couple of seconds, you will see the contents here, like so. Good thing with this is if you update the original Excel spreadsheet called Films on my uh, C drive, you can come back here and refresh by going right click and refresh, and it will automatically update the contents of the uh, spreadsheet displayed here. So that's really cool. Okay, we move along to screen clipping. Um, it's kind of like a snapshot. Um, here you see, you can just grab a picture and it pastes it in automatically. So it saves you a couple of clicks. Pictures, uh, similar. You can do drag and drop for this or you can select it from here and it will paste the picture in for you. So online pictures is similar as well. Um, it comes up with Bing search. You look for your item and you can select one or you can select as many as you like and just insert those into your sheet. So we have online pictures. Next up is online video. Um, if we come down a little bit, in fact, let's just go to a new page, online video. You can paste in a, uh, a web address or let's just say, for example, a YouTube video, paste in the address of a YouTube video and it will place a link uh, with the uh, title picture within your document. Uh, a link is if you want to just quickly mm, paste the link to it to a web page. So let's just say you can give the text to display, we'll call it internet. And the web address is google.com. Like so. So you can just click on that link now, that hyperlink, and it opens up the web browser. Uh, we have record audio and record video. Um, I'm recording at the moment, so I can't press these buttons, but if you do press them, or, uh, it will just create a uh, another um, ribbon, which will give you some functionality to play, record, uh, give you the audio properties, recording properties, and so on. Really intuitive, very easy to use. All right, we have as well um, some basic buttons here, just date, uh, time, and date and time. Moving along, we have page templates, so you can select a different style to your page. Uh, let's open up the menu here. You can choose a uh, business, so you could have a project overview, which is really cool. Kind of, kind of gives you all of the uh, basic mm, reminders that you'd need. Um, you can do an academic one, you can do decorative. There's lots to choose from, so it's well worth having a look there. You can also Let's go to a different page. Use equations. If you're down with maths like that, you have all of these options, which will make you very happy. Um, 
just going back to insert let's just go to symbol as well and you can select common symbols or you can choose wider widely used ones uh, or ones which aren't as widely used as well so that's there for for your choosing um, moving along draw we have the lasso select uh, this is just your standard uh, uh, selection for typing um, you have different pen nibs so you can have different thickness of pens you can have markers you can change the color and thickness here um, draw with touch if you so wish you can add shapes and arrows and make flow charts and things we have insert space again delete arrange uh, where you can bring an object on top of another bring it to the foreground so to speak uh, rotate if you so wish as well we have ink to text and ink to math this is um, an option where you can uh, convert handwriting to text if you're going to try that it's best to write in a horizontal line i'll show you how you can get horizontal line on your horizontal lines on your pages in just a second so that's the draw ribbon we move along to history and we can see just some few items here markers read recent edits find by author if there are multiple authors hide authors page versions and uh, recycle bin so if you delete a page if you decide to delete a page you will go to the recycle bin and you can restore it by right clicking it to get out of the recycle bin you just press the button again uh, if you want to empty the recycle bin you just click on the down arrow empty recycle bin moving on to review we have just some basic stuff spelling research for source check ac accessibility translate language password password is useful if you want to password protect a section you just click that button and it will protect the section and pages uh, set password uh, you can read this information here very important you save this password because it says here it cannot recover your data if you lose or forget it so please remember the password a linked notes as if you are um, working with word documents or powerpoint and you want to automatically link your notes to to the document so moving on to view we have normal view which we're looking at here full page if you just want to blow the page up so it takes up the full um, area uh, doc to desktop is cool if you want to as you can see here it's just kind of got uh, a small portion of one note and it will tuck along on the right hand side and it will allow you to open up other applications such as outlook or word or the internet whatever you're doing so you can keep notes whilst you're working along page color allows you to fill the page with color uh, rule lines let's go to rule lines if you want to go to a fresh page go to rule lines you have different sizes and spaces and this is uh, what i was talking about uh, for handwriting if you want to use ink to text this will help you write in a straight line so that's really useful um, if you want to hide the page title you can oh, you can do so here let's just get rid of that i'm still in in mode let's go here so this is the uh, title if i want to hide the page title you delete that and it's gone uh moving on we have paper size so if you want to you know change it you can do so here uh, we have zoom in and zoom out if you want to zoom in on the page or zoom out in that case <laughs> Uh, zoom in you can do so and if you just want to type it you can just quickly just get it back to normal 100% like so um, here we have just some other page width options uh, this is if you want to create a new window uh, a new docked window as well as keeping the existing one open a new quick note which is just a note uh, where you can just as it says quickly no um, note down some information and this is if you want to keep it on top um, that is more or less it. If you if you use a button frequently, what you can do is um, let's just say draw, and you use the uh, eraser often. You can right click on it, and you can add it to the quick access toolbar, and that places it up the top here. It saves you having to rummage around for something which you use frequently. So you can just add to quick uh, launch bar there. So you, and if you want to remove, you can just right click and remove those so i hope you found this useful uh, OneNote is a great tool it's really good for productivity note taking if you're in meetings at school college etc hope you found you hope hope you found this video useful i hope my tongue will start working again uh, if you have please give it a thumbs up share uh, leave me a message let me know how you use OneNote in your life 
be interested to know. Uh, thanks again for watching. We're still winning. This is AG um, and hopefully see you on the next video. Goodbye.